you, Spencer, for a very nice introduction to my presentation. Uh, let's see if I can follow that one. My name is Pierre. I'm from uh, the Nordics. Uh, I'm working as an SC in uh, Lenovo. Um, and if I'm saying something wrong, that is, uh, I will use the excuse that uh, English is not my common language, right? <laughs> so, uh, Think Agile uh, from uh, Lenovo is capable for delivering uh, a bunch of uh, different solutions. Uh, Azure Stack is uh, one of them. Uh, if you take a look at the Lenovo's uh, uh, homepage, you will see that uh, Think Agile will be uh, delivered in different flavors. Uh, we are able to deliver an infrastructure from traditional to converge and uh, hyper-converge to software-defined uh, with the entire stack of hardware needed uh, for, to deliver that uh, solution. Uh, for uh, supporting uh, multiple locations, no matter if we are talking about uh, your on-prem or your cloud services, uh, uh, if you're talking about range services, uh, robo connections or whatever, uh, within the uh, infrastructure supporting converge or hyper converge, we uh, will also be able to deliver solutions within Think, Think Agile for bare metal implementation, uh, container virtualizations, uh, in all the way uh, uh, you can think about. And um, all of the solutions will be able to support uh, mixed workloads, uh, and as Spencer said, Everything is down to the uh, to the way we are planning. Uh, so it's really important so that you work with us uh, locally uh, to get the right solution. Uh, you have probably, if you visit the uh, the Lenovo booth, uh, you have probably seen this presentation before. Um, uh, this is uh, the different models uh, we able to support. Uh, so we have the single node. We have uh, uh, the entry nodes. Uh, uh, delivering U25 or U42 racks. Uh, we have uh, uh, solutions from 4 to 12 node as is right now. Um, I'm not going through all these details because I only have 10 minutes uh, to present. Uh, I also need to get room to, uh, to Dell and HPE. Uh, so if you want to have uh, further information about all these uh, uh, configuration, then uh, visit uh, the booth or uh, contact me afterwards. Uh, I want to show you a little bit of, uh, around what is actually inside the rack. Uh, this is the uh, 3650 uh, M5 server, and this this server uh, is also the one we're using for storage spaces. The rack. Uh, I've been uh, in uh, installing storage spaces to rack for around a year now. We have a lot of experience around this. We have a lot of customers running in production. Uh, the Azure Stack concept is uh, using exactly this server. Uh, we're also using server for, for other converge solution, hyper converge solution. And uh, one of the main reasons is because uh, the uh, server has, uh, uh, it's rated uh, at iTech for, for as number one in uh, reliability. Um, uh, it has a, a, a TPM uh, or a, t a trusted platform assurance built into the system. Uh, as Spencer said, TPM 2.0 is a requirement for, for delivering a hardware solution for the Azure Stack. Um, and also, uh, there's a lot of flexibility uh, inside this server. It is like, uh, like Lego components. Uh, you can uh, build the server uh, as you want it. For Azure Stack, it's predefined. But uh, for other workload uh, purposes, uh, you can build it as you want. Um, this is how it looks inside. Um, just to give you a very short overview, um, and if you take a look at the, uh, uh, the configuration planning tool, you will see that uh, you can actually build this server as, just as you want. There's so many options and choices uh, for you to, uh, uh, to, uh, to configure inside the tool. Um, the, uh, one of the other things I wanted to highlight uh, is the way we are uh, running the uh, 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 the predicted uh, failure analysis inside the server. So the server is, uh, and, and the way the server is built and the way the firmware is built inside the server is actually capable for uh, finding out if there's any hardware issues even before they're happening. 
And uh, so this uh, information uh, will be shipped back to uh, uh, to the service uh, provider um, automatically. And whenever the uh, the technical team is uh, going on site for repairing the hardware, uh, and they opening the server, it will actually light up uh, uh, with a small signal inside the, uh, the the motherboard or the mainboard on each component, which one of the uh, uh, the hardware components has a failure. So it could be a memory dim or whatever, where there's a little light showing that this dim is actually the one uh, which has a fault. And on top of that, you will also be able to read out that information on the light panel. A little, uh, a little about uh, what, uh, uh, what are we uh, adding for networking inside the, uh, the Azure stack. Lenovo switches, uh, this is one of the things we acquired from IBM, uh, part of the x86 business. Uh, I'm actually a networking guy, a uh, networking security guy. I, I started at IBM uh, because they acquired BNT, uh, Blade Network Technologies. They have been, uh, been uh, building uh, switches for uh, uh, different vendors uh, through many years. Uh, those switches uh, you will find inside Azure Stack is uh, uh, delivered in, in different flavors. The one I'm showing here is a 10 gig one, the 8272. Uh, and uh, along that, we also have the management switch, the uh, 8052. And uh, the two 10 gig switches, which also have 40 gig ports, are delivering the, the, uh, this, the network stack, uh, no matter if uh, we're talking about the BDP, ECMP, the IS link, for the virtual link aggregation. So we have fully redundancy in between the switches. Uh, and um, together with the SDN part of Azure Stack, this is actually the, uh, the access point in and out of the entire Azure Stack. Whenever we're going to aggregate several regions uh, uh, together, uh, we're going to combine in that one with, with an 83, 32, and 40 gig switch. This is uh, not part of the solution right now, but it is already certified. So uh, whenever we come to that point, uh, that will be part of the solution as well. Uh, in the end of my presentation, I just wanted to show you what, uh, how did we manage uh, the first tab installation. So, um, at the bottom you will see an Excel S uh, worksheet we, uh, we received from Microsoft. Inside that document, everything is described about the planning phase of the uh, first tab uh, for multi-node installation. So we, uh, we worked together with, uh, uh, with Microsoft on pre-meetings pre on Skype and uh, the, the worksheet was uh, filled out. Uh, it took around an hour. Uh, we discussed uh, the different uh, subnetting interfaces and so on. And then uh, the uh, scripting, uh, IP and BGP uh, subnetting uh, was uh, pre-programmed by Microsoft uh, by Ansible. And then uh, we were able to follow the, uh, the Think Agile hardware shipping process. So I received the shipping information in very uh, deep details about each stage, when it left uh, Microsoft, when it left US, when it arrived to, to Europe, when it uh, was supposed to be at the customer side, and when it came to the customer uh, access point, I actually received pictures from there so I could uh, verify that uh, the entire packet was delivered uh, without damage. Um, the hardware were delivered in time. Uh, actually, the first uh, tab install we did, the hardware came before we expected. Uh, and uh, then the guys started installing uh, as planned. Uh, Microsoft was on site. Uh, Lenovo Professional Service was on site as well. And uh, whenever the hardware was up and running, we received the fully software package with the latest patches and so on. And, um, and uh, Microsoft could start uh, installing uh, the entire uh, software stack uh, together with the networking part. So uh, what took most hours uh, was a network part. It's quite complex. It needs to be 100% correct. Uh, we did have some learnings there. Um, but anyway, uh, we got everything up and running within 48 hours. The first tab took a little bit longer after we, uh, we managed uh, to install everything. Everything was up and running. We have to remove the system because the, uh, the hosting uh, 
company uh, figured out that they were using single mode and not uh, uh, motor mode fiber. Um, quite a challenge to be prepared for as well. So at the end of my presentation, some pictures. Uh, this is uh, Microsoft and uh, Lenovo Professional Services mounting the system. Um, you have, I have to tell you, the, the first tab here is delivered in packages. It's not delivered as a, a fully rack. So uh, we mounted everything uh, manually at the, the hosting center. And um, uh, in the end, uh, it ended up uh, looking like uh, the, the right uh, left, uh, sorry, the right uh, uh, least uh, picture uh, where you cannot see the switches, but uh, this is a U42 rack. If you have any questions, you are uh, you feel free to reach out to uh, to the company Cloud Factory. Uh, they are here at the at, at the uh, event as well, so uh, you will feel feel free to ask any questions. Right? Thanks, Bert. <laughs> so before you leave the stage, before you run off, I was going to yeah. ask a quick question of. Um, if there's any been anything surprising in the partnership that we've had so far with uh, Azure Stack you'd like to comment on? Uh, I, I won't say there was any kind of uh, any surprises. Um, it was actually positive surprises, but uh, you know uh, everything comes down to the way you're communicating. So there's a lot of email flows around in the beginning. But when you're learning the guys to know, uh, I, I think it was uh, pretty easy to uh, to get the hold on, on the right persons uh, knowing the, the the right information. Great, excellent. Well, thanks for coming out today, and appreciate you sharing with us. Okay, thanks. thanks.